Tellum Tribe Tarot. Daily readings for my tribe. Subscribe to my channel. Peace, Gemini. I am Cherokee with Tellum Tribe Tarot coming to you with another reading. I hope you're feeling good, feeling great. I hope your mind is clear and your expectations are realistic. Your goals are set. Your children are asleep. If you have children, you have some alone time to unwind and watch this reading in the comfort of your own dwelling and domain. Take what resonates, leave behind what does not. Turn on post notifications, click like on the video to show your support. You can even donate to my channel. You can even book a personal reading, subscribe, 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 and so forth and so forth. Share the video to share the world. So Gemini, I wanna see what's going on with you as usual. Gotta keep you updated on how to handle these challenges that you're experiencing. I feel like somebody wants to know, what do they want from me? Like, what do they want from me? That's all I hear, like, what the hell do they want from me? And I feel like you may be connecting with yourself or trying to connect with yourself. And in the midst of trying to do that, you have someone that may be antagonizing you or someone that you're not giving the time of day or a situation that distracts you from your self-love regimen. And you're just like, what the hell do they want? You know, with the overall or current energy is the page of one. So you want to focus on your ideas and you want to focus on leveling up and doing this in a way that is specific for you where it won't feel like work you want to maximize on the things that you're passionate about you are ready to take some much needed action but your challenge is that you haven't been as motivated as you used to be or maybe you had someone in the recent past or in the past who was your motivator, someone who was constantly on you about getting things done and meeting those deadlines and was very, you know, straightforward about that to which you appreciated them for, but they may not be have that physical presence in your life right now. They may have pulled back because they want to see you try a little harder so that they can then you know, step back in. They don't want to be a crutch for you, so to speak. So why do you have this energy of what do you want from me then? Maybe you could be asking life, like what does life want from you? Because you may feel like you have so many things to deal with right now. And it's like, why is it that when I'm trying to do something new and better for myself, why is it that life is being so unfair? Why is it that I have to go through the trenches to get what I need when it's people out here getting shit handed to them? No problem. Willy nilly, even people who don't even deserve it. But that's not a call that we can make, Gemini, because, you know, you have to remember, you don't know what people are doing to get where they are. You don't know what people are compromising. And I know it's difficult sometimes to go through what you're going through and then to see someone else seemingly on the same path to what you're doing or where you're going and they're just on like the gravy train and you're over here struggling so it's it seems that way but everything is not what it seems your spirit guides are wanting you to focus on the way how you feel about what you have going on so that you can adjust the things within you that has you distracted ever so slightly with um with with the energies of temptation or the energies of quick fixes and things of that sort. So you may just be tired of 
tired just tired of the same old like tired of doing trying so hard and failing but the cool thing about it is gemini is that this is what you need to be doing you need to be trying so hard you need to be on your constant grind to see what works and to see what does not and then i feel like this mentor from the past that may have pulled back a little bit i don't think they pulled back to leave you and abandon you they just wanted to test your strength they wanted you to, they wanted to make sure that you wanted what you were asking for as badly as you needed them to help you with it because they're extending their time, their effort. They want you to become a key player in your own game. They don't want to be the the main character in what you have going on. They want to be in the shadows, like a silent partner. That's what a mentor is for. Someone who's there, someone who knows the ropes, but they're not going to constantly do things for you. That's not what they're there for. They're there to guide you. So here, you know, subconsciously, you may feel like you could cut corners you know, as far as how you think about things and how things are um, set up in your perspective. You may be trying to align things in a way where you don't have to deal with the emotional stuff that comes with what you're asking, but that's not how this works. Your spirit guides are challenging you to look at things from every angle. Like, what are you not addressing? Are you trying to become something bigger and greater because you're trying to prove something to someone else, to your past, to your future, to anyone that you can do it? Or are you genuinely trying to go hard in the motherfucking paint <laughs> because you want to see something bigger than yourself manifest? You have to make sure that you're doing what you're doing for the right reason. Some of you may be in the spirit of trying to prove something to someone who's not in your life anymore that you can do it without them. And you don't have to prove that because you are already doing it without them. Or you may be trying to just prove in general that you are who you are. But if you are who you are, you don't need to, you don't need to prove anything because you are who you are, if that makes sense, Gemini. I see that your goal right now is the Queen of Cups. You want to have a level emotional um, presence in your own life. You don't want to constantly have to look for this feeling from other people. I feel like you are paying or putting out, you know, like money towards training and um, motivationals and like you're investing in trying to find strength in other places rather than looking within to find that strength within you, which is why the Hierophant is here. If you look, these both of these cards are meditative. One though is coming from an external source and the other is coming from within. So you just have to hone your reasoning for wanting to do everything that you're doing and realize that your power is way bigger than you acknowledge and you have to utilize it in a way that is conducive to you accelerating this power in a positive way and it's within you you know so it's all about your confidence Gemini I feel like maybe lately you just lost confidence because you just don't see the bigger picture as big anymore and you are trying to find that balance between where you want to be and where you are where you are and where you're not so in the near future with the Six of Swords, I'm seeing that you are going to start releasing those, those, this energy of tr thinking that everything requires a certain method and it has to be done a certain way that you've been, you know, paying and investing to, to do for yourself. That's not how it, it's necessarily going to work. Just because something worked for someone else, it's not going to necessarily work for you that way. What your guides want you to know is that once you have a clear understanding of what you want, there is no specific method on how to get it. Like there's no, there's no amount of money that you can pay anyone to show you to do what you're doing, you know, 
unless you have a vision. You know, they can't help you if you don't have a vision. So I feel like in the near future, that's what you're going to, you're going to grasp that vision once more, because I think that's what you lost is vision, which is why you may feel that you have a loss of strength or you have a loss of direction right now. So how you, um, how you see yourself is, you know, feeling remorseful about, not being where you necessarily would like to be. I feel like this is a conversation that we've been having time and time again, Gemini. Feeling like, you know, I'm 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 not quite where I want to be, you know, and what the fuck does life want from me because I've been going really hard and I'm, you know, I'm starting over again. I'm not a quitter. I'm investing in higher learning or I'm investing in courses or I'm buying all these things. But it's like you have a lot of books, but you're not reading them. And having the knowledge is half the, bo is half the battle. I was about to say half the bottle. Yeah, probably half the bottle. Some of y'all are drinking, which is another thing. You can't distract yourself from your goals by deter by using distractions actual distractions with this seven of cups energy to like mask what you need to actually be doing which is putting well thought out um energy into what you want to do you have to figure out what the hell you want gemini what do you want it's not what does life want from me it's what do you want from life and that's when you put this energy into the universe and you be clear about it and I've been telling you for the past few readings, Gemini, to take calculated steps towards that. What does that mean? All it is is making one plan. Why are we still here? I'll tell you why we're still here. We're still here because you're human. Your environment right now is showing you that you have a great support system. I feel like this is your motivation is your family or is there someone or something that you want to take care of this is having to do with your legacy like you want to complete a cycle of struggling you don't want to struggle anymore but i feel like you struggle the most with like putting things into perspective in your mind and then you go back and forth and back and forth one minute you're in control one minute you you know you're taking advice from someone that you that you want to be there, but then next thing you know, you want them to take over. And I feel like this is your energy. This doesn't necessarily have to be a physical person. This could be you like strong arming yourself, you know, mentoring yourself, which is maybe why you need to get an actual mentor. But I feel like you pulled back from yourself and that's what we may be feeling you going back and forth. Like one minute you're trying to start something, the next minute you're trying to release something. One minute you're trying to learn about something new, the next minute you're putting it down and you're back to the previous thing. I just feel like you're all over the place. I feel like for some of you, you're running from yourself. You're running from your potential. I feel like if you notice that there's a bit of a ramble here and I feel like that's what you're doing. You're rambling and rambling and rambling about what you want, but you're not doing too much of anything to get it. And that's why you need to take much needed action. I feel like the possible outcome is the eight of wands energy where you're going to get this burst of like, okay, I know what the hell I want and I am going for it because with the, with your hope is that you don't make, repeat the past and just create an idea with no plan and just jump on it. And then you're back at square one with the page of wands. You feel what I'm saying? Trying to figure out what action to take next. You have to plan this thing out. And that's what your main deal is. You're not really planning. You're just like a jack of all trades right now and a master of none. And you're good at every goddamn thing. And that's what your difficulty is. You're not zeroing in on one thing so that you can master it and possibly monetize it. Because once you master it, you can demand money for it. And I feel like you're going to overcome this, but you have to what? What did I say about two minutes ago, three minutes ago, Gemini? You got to plan. You just got to make one goal. Just one. Just one. I'm not saying, you know, make a, a bar chart, a flow chart. I'm not saying to do a bar graph or whatever the hell you want to call it, a pie chart, a PowerPoint, none of that. All I'm saying is write down one thing, one thing that you want and go ham every day. Go ham. Because this is what's making you unbalanced and unsatisfied. It's just that you're not, there's nothing that you have solid right now that you feel that you can present to the world with confidence. 
That's what I feel. So we're going to get some closing messages from your spirit guides, Gemini. Spirit, what else do you want Gemini to know? What else do you want Gemini to know in closing? I feel like this is good energy for you, Gemini. Good information. I meant to say information and I said energy. But yeah, I feel like your approach, you have the right in, the right intent, but you're just all over the place. So it's time to get organized. See, three of cups. You need to branch off by linking with individuals who are on the same frequency as you are. That's all it is. I feel like you've isolated yourself enough. Enough is enough. You need to put yourself out there. You have what it takes. Put yourself out there and link up. I hear link up. Put yourself out there, Gemini. Real talk. Put yourself out there. And I'm going to pull an oracle card for you because you need one. You need one. I'm gonna pull an oracle card. Gemini, Gemini. Gotta love my Geminis. I am one. So guess what? I love y'all. <laughs> I get it. Shit. I totally get it. All right. So what does Gemini need to know in closing? What is the message for Gemini in closing? Curiosity. So Gemini, never stop being curious about what you need to accomplish, want to accomplish, better said. Never stop questioning. Never stop researching. Never stop at what you know. Keep that curiosity peaked and you will always be inspired. Most importantly, set clear expectations. Set clear expectations. It's okay to link with people. It's okay to protect your energy, but now it's time for you to be curious about what else you 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 can get involved with and link because your net work is your net worth. All right, Gemini. I hope this resonates and until next time, love and light. Tribe